is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to the F1 career mode here today for the complete opposite episode to what you're probably expecting. Today we're in China and that is because I've somehow lost the footage of Vietnam so this is kind of Vietnam episode slash China episode so yeah this is the grid and we'll talk after. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, Alexander Albon and Stroll, Perez, Ricardo, Ocon and Sebastian Vettel, Fiat, Leclerc, Carlos Sainz and Gasly, Magnussen, Brown, Nick de Vries and Lando Norris, Joe, Ireland, Latifi and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. Which of these... So before I'd like to go out, if you do enjoy this series, make sure to like and subscribe. But anyway, let's get to the action, so shall we? As it's lights out and away we go here in China. We're away into the COVID den. And now up the inside of the Avatar we go. Up the inside of the McLaren as well. We're going to go right to the inside to try and sneak up the inside there of Sebastian Vettel. Trying to go around the outside now of Esteban Ocon. We can we get Ocon? He pushes it a bit wide. Now though we're back side by side with the Ferrari of Sebastian Vettel. And we are going to send it down the inside of Esteban Ocon into turn six. Now Ocon side by side and may even lose out to Sebastian Vettel now in the Ferrari. Because we are very good. We haven't even looked at the back of it. You can just about see that there that the Ferrari has got the position. Vettel ahead of Esteban Ocon and now as we're up into P9 the Ferrari is going to come back at us here. He's in our slipstream. As you can see there it's a Mercedes 1-2 from a Red Bull racing point. Red Bull racing point. But Sebastian Vettel that that Ferrari engine that isn't cheating anymore cannot pull Vettel along and past us just yet in this Chinese Grand Prix. But unfortunately we haven't got much pace. Vettel on the soft, also those in front of us as well. We're on the medium because we started outside the top 10 so we had choice of tyres so we're looking for the one stop. Those on the soft more likely to do a two stop than the one um, I'm guessing but this time is Vettel close enough I think he is he's gonna go to the outside into the hairpin and this is the most awful camera angle you've ever seen we've forced Vettel wide and now Esteban Ocon is trying to get back at the Ferrari and he does down the inside though Vettel's not giving up into the final corner they're side by side as they head up to turn one We've pulled out a little gap. Is Vettel going to be brave enough to go round the outside? He's going to try it. But he's a bit too far back. Esteban Ocon defends. Vettel is not giving up and sticking his nose there. And he's going to send it back down the inside. Into turn three. Can he get past there side by side again? They're still side by side. But Esteban Ocon has the straight line speed. With that Renault engine. To pull himself back in front of Sebastian Vettel and his defence can only get him so far as now Esteban Ocon pulls to our outside and gets the job done on us we're going to tuck back in his lipstream now to try and go back down the inside of him we force him wide and now Vettel might even try and get past him again there as we go into the final corner again and they both go into the pits because they started on the soft tyres and now we've got a replay oh, because me and Charles Leclerc have come together. And Charles Leclerc has been forced off the track by us there. And that is awful. We went wide and you can see here that Charles Leclerc just goes for a gap that doesn't really exist. I mean, you can see there and then he touches our a rear tyre and that spins him and does a pretty good drift as well very good to hold that um 
but yeah this is from the onboard this is kind of my line of going a bit wider having a late apex so charles leclerc fair enough thought he's gone a bit wide try and get up the inside but that gap was always going to shut so i don't know but you can see here look we go wide for the late apex and then charles leclerc thinks well we can get him here but then there's contact and the ferrari is spun round and charles and Carlos Sainz can take that position but we've gone a bit wide out of that long never-ending right-hander and now Carlos Sainz with that Renault engine of course Mercedes for next season and Sainz gets past the Spaniard we try to go back down the inside we are going to go back down the inside we force Sainz wide I think there may have been a little love tap on the back of that McLaren to force him in a little bit wider and we do re-overtake the McLaren though heading back this is what we keep seeing we get past at the hairpin and the battle continues on all the way into turn one and can Carlos Sainz do us around the outside no he can't we force him wide thinks about doing the cut back but that was never going to work for him we plant plonk our car right in the middle of the track but Carlos Sainz is not giving up the Spaniard and he does re-overtake us and that time it might be done nobody logs up and we go back down the inside and now look at the Alfa Tari trying to get past Carlos Sainz as well is he brave enough to go around the outside of the final corner yes he is but now side by side and he does get the job done there wrong Carlos Sainz does Peter Gasly and now we're going to go down the inside and just like Charles Leclerc Peter Gasly getting very close to the back of us we go a bit wide and can Gasly get the exit no he can't but can he maybe go for a lunge no he can't as we skip on to the back straight Gasly who crashed here last year on the back straight gets past us we try and go back down the inside of him but he pinches us into the apex and he does eventually take that position off of us but we're going to try and get back at him hopefully we're still right on the back of him can we do anything into turn one we're going to try and send it but there's contact between me and Gasly and we've gone off the track we're completely off the track over the grass and we've lost places Gasly has come off better than us though we've come off worse now we're side by side with um, the Alfa Romeo there and now this is a replay of what happened we we're all in the water my doing there we just licked the stamp and sent it absolutely demolished Pierre Gasly's side pod and sent him for a little drift and we've just gone straight we've gone for a little drift as well but we've gone completely off the track we've had to come back on over the grass and we've ended up losing a couple of places there and what was it doing there I'll admit that was stupid you can see the drift though formula drift for a couple of seconds there and Pierre Gasly losing out to Carlos Sainz you can see here this is it from Nick De Vries's angle as he tries to go around the outside and we just we nearly we lose it again there and then we just shove him off the track that's dirty i can't do that lando though we do help lando in the sense that he's now got us and now those at the at the front of the field are pitting so the leader the mercedes there getting past us i think it's lewis hamilton i think it's Bottas second i think but we are going to come into the pits to make our one and only stop and that's going to allow, to allow us to take a little breather for once in this race because it's been a hell of a race so far so much action here at the Chinese Grand Prix trending down the pits lap 14 would you believe out of 28 we're going to go into the hard tyres and that's going to be us for the rest of the race now getting these tyres to the end those in front of course those on starting on the soft I imagine um, I've gone into the mediums possibly onto the hards but I think it's most likely that they're going to be two stopping so I think they may come through us again but we'll see what happens we skip on all the way 
on to lap 24 because nothing really happened we're going to send it on Lando Norris our teammate probably a bit aggressive but to be honest this um the second half of the race nothing really happened so at the end we're going to come around the final corner for P14 It's a performance to be proud of from our Chinese Grand Prix winners today. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. What a race that was, wow. Bit of a, for, for the race that it was, a bit of a kind of drained result really for P14. Still looking for our first points of the season, hopefully they can come at Zandvoort. But you can see there, the two Ferraris outside the top 10 as well. So, they've had a mare Ferrari, um, but Valtteri Bottas did win the race and stays in a lead in the championship from Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen and Lance Stroll. Fair play. Perhaps money can buy you a good car, we'll wait and see. We're ahead of Lando of course, neither of us have scored a point yet. And we are one of three teams yet to score with Williams and Haas. So we're in a rivalry with Daniel Ricciardo. And Ricardo, you would have seen in the in the cutscene that he got P8, and he seemed very happy with that P8, which is fair enough. A solid four points for him, as compared to Lando. Lando, I think he needs to. He still needs to get used to the car. I think we don't get any bonuses. That was a really, really, really bad result. But it was such a good race, so much action. Um, I actually watched last season's race before I recorded this one and that had a lot of action with crashes, with large stroll crashing, big Gasly crashing there was everything, two safety cars as well in that race but in terms of the R&D um, we're going to do some stuff on the aero so these are results so far this season and you can see for um, Zanvoort we actually finished 11 so they're missing out on the points I mean, I'm a really good YouTuber for the fact of losing footage. I think either I haven't, I didn't record it or I've lost it somewhere. But anyway, I know the rest of the episodes have definitely there. So, hope you enjoyed this one. I'm looking to be a bit more consistent over the next couple of weeks. But, till next time, hope you enjoy your morning afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it is and goodbye.